Hey everyone, my name is Amel and you're watching Newsbreak. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. Why Facebook is hitting pause on Instagram kids. The Territory's crocodile boom. And we find out what this mysterious object is. But before we get into any of that, why don't you hit our subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. Facebook has pressed pause on Instagram Kids. The company says it still wants to make the app, but it's going to delay it. Kale explains why. Hello, this is Instagram. Oh, you think Instagram Kids is a bad idea? Right, the privacy thing? Oh, you've got another complaint. Another call, I've got another call. You think young kids shouldn't be on Instagram? I've got another complaint. It kind of sounds like people don't want it. Ever since Facebook first announced it was making a version of Instagram for kids under 13, the tech giant's been hit with complaint after complaint. They're coming from people who say kids don't belong on the platform because of issues around privacy, safety and mental health. So maybe it's no surprise that Instagram's yeah. hitting pause for a no, while. It says many under 12s already have devices and lie about how old they are so they can use Instagram. So having a safe app specifically designed for them makes sense. That's something YouTube and TikTok already have and it lets parents control what kids do and see. Others clearly don't agree and worry it'll just encourage kids to get on the platform sooner. Facebook isn't scrapping Instagram kids completely. It's on hold while it makes some changes. And in the meantime, it's going to bring in new parental supervision controls for 13 to 19 year olds. Tom Trebojevic has taken out the 2021 Dally M medal as the best NRL player of the year. Trebojevic polled 35 points, five ahead of runner-up Nathan Cleary at the awards night in Brisbane. The Manly Sea Eagles fullback had an incredible season and he did it all playing only 15 out of 24 regular season games. Queensland's Sam Walker was named Rookie of the Year, while the Melbourne Storm's Craig Bellamy was awarded Best Coach. How many crocodiles is too many crocodiles? That's a question that people are asking in the Northern Territory. The crocodile population there is booming and they're popping up more often in places people live. Leela explains. Awesome, thanks. Hey, I didn't expect to see you here. Neither did these rangers in the NT when they discovered a nest of hatchlings just hundreds of metres from homes in Palmerston. And some are worried it's a sign of what's to come. We're seeing behaviours from crocodiles that we haven't seen before. For a while, it was rare to see a crocodile in the wild here. The species was almost hunted to extinction 50 years ago, so they were given special protection. Today, there are more than 100,000 saltwater crocodiles in the wild in the NT, and they're getting bigger and apparently exploring new areas. Some say as the population grows and spreads, it'll mean more croc attacks and people will get hurt. The vast majority of crocodile attacks is, is occurring because of uh, locals in an environment where they feel quite comfortable with, a, with interacting with the environment and they're taking far more risks. The government does already remove crocs found close to where people live, but there's sure to be more talk about the best ways for humans and crocs to live together. If you're afraid of heights, I'm really sorry because for our next stories, we're going high in the sky. This mysterious object was spotted last night across New South Wales. A UFO? Aliens? Some people were understandably a little confused. That is weird and huge. But all that weirdness was quickly cleared up by experts who say it's actually just the exhaust from a Chinese rocket. Researchers in South Australia have found something pretty incredible. A species of eagle that lived 25 million years ago. That makes it one of the oldest birds of its kind in the world. To get that many bones of a single skeleton, that's, that's really unusual. They discovered the bones a few years back on the shore of a dry lake and now have pieced it together to form a partial skeleton of an entirely new species. And finally, to an artist who's braving the blizzard conditions you'd find on top of a mountain to create some unique art. Peter's in Italy and the weather certainly doesn't get like this. 
but it's all been created in a special climate chamber. He wanted to see how the icy, windy conditions shaped his artwork, and I'd say it looks pretty cool. All right, coolies, that's all from us. But before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos, and we'll catch you tomorrow.